up guys today we're on a roof on this beautiful sunny day we're going to be installing the electrical components for a single phase compressor now I want to just want to tell you the backstory of this job as you guys can see here we have three condenser outdoor condensing units one two and three are doing that one over there but we have to swap to this one and this one and this is the one I will be working on in this video and the story is that the guy who got this place uh, signed a new lease and didn't know that he had only single phase power so we went to the auction thought he had three phase and so he bought three three phase outdoor condensing units and it's just too expensive to install three phase power to this building that's not even his and he just said, fuck it, just go ahead and install, buy three new single phase compressors and install those and get the components and do the whole shebang. It's much cheaper than going through the permit process of getting three phase power to the building and all that. And during the coronavirus uh, crisis, it just, the, the process was too long and he just doesn't have that cash flow to support the waiting for the three phase power to come in. So here we are gonna already raise on all the new compressors and we're just gonna do the electrical components for this one right here. So obviously we have this is I believe the run cap Emerson the relay and the start cap. So I'm going to flip the screen and we're going to get started with the electrical component installation process. Okay guys, here we are back. Before I started recording this video, I put added some push-ons to my ends of my wires. I tried to find the same color as for the same colors that are on here. Just for visual uh, representation and so it's easy for you guys to follow where the wires are coming from. Um, Let's start with our contactor. You guys can see here that our, we have our T1, T2, T3. Our T1 is our common, our T2 is our start, and T3 is our uh, run from our compressor. Obviously our power is off. It's important to note that. Don't want anyone to electrocute themselves. So I personally like to start from my contactor and then work my way to my capacitors and my relay, but you guys can start anywhere you want. So let's get started. Um, let's start from our common. Our compressor, like so. Make sure that's snug. So, from our common, aka our T1, we're going to go straight to the number 5 on our relay. Perfect. And then, after that, I'm going to use the black wires for my start because I don't have any yellow wire. So when it goes from a start winding, oh, put that perfectly in. From a start winding, we're gonna go to our run cap. Like so, and then next is our run winding like so to our run cap like so once we run that then we can work from our start cap which is right there so Obviously you want to go from our first thing is go from our one run from our run cap to our start cap like so and then once again I don't have any blue uh, any blue wires but we do have our red and black 
so we can we have to go from our start cap to the number four or on our relay. to our to number four and then last but not least from number two to uh, my run so let's do that number two to my run That is pretty much it guys just like so so let's do a recap from our contactor common goes straight to number five on our relay then our start goes to our run then my run winding goes to my run cap and then from my run cap we have one going to my start cap and another one going to number two on my relay and we have last but not least our start cap from from the start cap we have going to number four. Oh yeah guys just before I end the video just wanted to make sure I get this in too. I was just talking about the low so the compressor side earlier but now I want to talk about the, the power side to my contactor. All I had to do was take out one of the hots as you guys can see it's got the blue one and just move it over the black wire aka the other hot to my run side as you guys can see directly above the blue one and then I just move all the connections that were on my start to my run side like so. So all I did was just move all the wires that were here on my start, moved it over to the run side and yeah that's all there is to it. I'm going to give it a start, turn it on, push the contactor in and there you guys go. That's it for this video guys hopefully you learned something about single phase and three phase compressors and the wiring that is involved when you want to hook one up if you guys like this video please smash that like button and if you loved it smash that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time